This is Sir Tap Tap. Welcome to DN8. It's a game. It's a bullet hell shooter, actually. And if it's since it's a bullet hell shooter, if it's too hard and like I'll have to like actually try, well, like you know, get good at the game, then I'll probably just quit, honestly. Because I don't really have time for all of that buggery right now. And so it begins. Use the mouse to move. The ship auto fires. T to pause. Very good. Combo one, even though I didn't shoot anything. Oh god, evil cactus monsters. Kill the- oh, the evil cactus monster got away. So, is there any reason to not just constantly shoot at the- oh, here we go. I was gonna say, since the enemy paths intersect, yeah, isn't this just the best position to shoot for now? Ah, I get it. I like that the, uh, the enemy path sort of disappears after you see it. So, you know, you just have to keep track of where enemies are going to end up. Oh, there's a... What is this? Some sort of upgrade system. Challenge is completed. Good work. Destroy your challenge. One complete. Rank increased. Bonus 10,000 something units. We are rank 2 destroyer. Oh, maybe it's like a... Ranking thing, not a... Not a upgrade system. The first of many. You have evolved. Vertical movement enabled. Oh, this is like, uh, what's it called? Space Invaders Infinity Gene, then, isn't it? Tip. Only the red circle in the middle of your ship can actually be hit by bullets. This is the bullet hell shooter, so that kind of makes sense. Ah, more cactuses. Destroy those potted cactuses. S stupid. Those are some sort of other potted plants that are not cactuses. Like, I'll, I'll call them ferns. Ah! More ferns! No! The fern escaped! That fern almost killed me! Murderous fern. There's a lot of potted plants in, it, in this game. I'm not sure if that's a plot point or... You know, just a coincidence. Maybe they're just minions of a greater evil. Like, you know, garden shrubbery or something. Evil like that. Oh, right. Vertical movement is enabled. And I completely forgot to actually use it. We're rank one mutants. I'm not sure if I'm in, I'm not sure if I'm, you know, insulted or happy about this. No, wait. Oh, no challenge is completed. For more info, so collect the challenges thingy on the title screen. Well, I will. Um. Maybe I won't because I can't get to the title screen from this screen. So there, double shot. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang, new mutation, increased firepower. This is very much like the Infinity Gene Space Invaders game, which is very fun, by the way. I had the PS3 version. Flying close to bullets increases your graze bar. Ah! Fill it for an extra life. Yeah, um, the Gundamonium games had something like that. I think it's fairly common for bullet hell games. You know, increase... You know, increases the challenge and risk to sort of fly by bullets. And it's sort of fun. Okay, that combo voice is going to get very annoying, I can tell. Even more annoying than me. Uh, more potted plants. Stupid potted plants. They're growing into alien potted plants now. This is concerning. Those just kind of look like... Oh god, what is its name? Hopip? It looks like that Pokemon with the leaves that are in that sort of orientation. It's hard to explain without pictures. I was just thinking, uh, YouTube annotations probably don't let you put pictures, but I wouldn't bother. Oh my god, penguins! I just murdered a bunch of penguins. I feel bad now. It's very uh, disorienting that my mouse suddenly emerges at the end of the level. Challenge is complete. Good work. Mutant challenge one complete. Rank increased. We're a rank two mutants and a rank two destroyer. Because we destroy things. Like things. And we're rank one. Oh, I get what Grazer is. And I assume Grazer de or destroyer just means shooting things. Does mutant just mean completing levels? Side shots. Ooh, so I, I want side shots. Mutation. Further mutation. Side shots enabled. Ah. This music really reminds me of, um, Space Invaders Affinity Gene, too. Okay, that combo voice, annoying. Alright, alright, I'm gonna need to try and do the graze bar thingy. 
I think I just got shot somehow. Log in with your Newgrounds account to submit your score. Well, I'm actually on Congregate, so I don't think I can actually do that. Well, let's retry. This actually, what's this? Forward diagonal. Ah, that sounds fun. Reach for the stars. Further mutation. Forward facing diagonal. But it's slower. So this is much safer than the side fire thingy. Oh no! Life loss! Not... Did I get some graze stuff? Where's the graze... Hmm. See, I just grazed near the thing. Thing, I just grazed near you. Thing, thing. You went through my sprite. Okay, that time I got some graze. I'm grazing like a fucking cow at a pasture. Do cows graze go to pat? Yeah, it's like going to pasture. I don't... Ah! Pain! Death. Okay, that thing in the top right seems to be my health bar. Let's retry that. What's this? Oh. I can't go that way anymore. Oh! It's choices. I see. I see. Well, I want forward diagonal fire. Don't want the sidebar thingy as much. Okay, I'm gonna ignore the graze thingy for now, since it does not seem to be helping... Well, since it seems to be getting me murdered, and it... See, even when they go through my sprite, I don't seem to get very much at all. Maybe they have to be, like, really close. But no, I see it, I see it. I'm just not as comfortable with the mouse control for doing that. Especially not since my sprite is pretty small and my hitbox seems pretty big. Ah! Sh ow. Damn these potted plants and their bullets shooting me in the face, or in the ship, rather. We're almost to rank three, mutant. Destroy your challenge two, now completed. Rank increased to three. We're rank three, destroy your rank two, grazer, and a rank one, or three, or two, militant. Mutant! Whatever the fuck. Secondary firepower increased. Excellent. Now the, fi the shots are the same speed. Ooh, we've got some sine waves up in this bitch. Very nice. I wonder if I actually get a benefit from the ranking up of the things, because that's why I wanted to do the graze stuff. It's not that hard, really. It just didn't increase the graze bar as much as I was thinking. Ooh, boss fight. It's one of those Ooh, now it's finally getting into bullet hell type bullet patterns. Incredibly simple ones, but still. You call yourself a boss. Ooh, parabola. Hello. We're getting some geometry shit up in here. Bah! Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Stupid cactuses and their geometry. I was plotting against me. Just like in high school. Just like then. Ugh. We're level- we're rank 3 mutant. Not sure if this is good or bad. Also, seriously, is there any way to get back to the main menu? Yeah, I figured. That would go there. Like, there doesn't seem to be any way to leave this screen. Unless there's like QM. I'm pressing lots of buttons and nothing's happening. So let's just go on. Drone craft, defensive orbs. I'm guessing these are like options. Ooh, protection plus additional things. More fire is always good. Oh, and he blocks bullets for me. I'm assuming the defensive orb is maybe just two of these guys, but they don't fire. Actually, maybe that would probably be more helpful. Oh, hey, you're shooting stuff now, don't I? Actually, you know what? Let's... Very good. Let's see what the other thing is. Wait, what? Oh. Defensive orbs. See exactly what I thought. Oh, why are they... Hmm. I'm not sure I approve of this formation, though. See, they, I would figure they would intersect at the top. Well, they would cross over at the top. They cross over at the top left, and or top right and top, and left bottom. I can talk today. But, since this is a bullet hell game, I'm betting this is going to be more useful than the, uh, thingy my fuckers. Than the, uh, options that shoot stuff. So I can already shoot stuff. Warning, stuff's happening. 
Dun dun dun. It's a cactus. No, it's not. You you just you look like an unhappy face. Also, you have the exact same bullet pattern. The exact same bullet pattern as the last boss. Oh, right. Was that boss on the same level? I think it was a different boss. At least the uh, sprite was different. But I'm like two different bosses that have the exact same attack pattern. Maybe the all of the enemies just look randomized. Ah, now you're moving left and right. Some increased challenge there. You look kind of like a UFO, but you also look... You're, you're like a potted UFO. Ooh, that's more like it. Even though you just died the second you started doing that. We're rank 3 mutants. We're really good at being mutants. Not so good at grazing. Good at destroying. This game is short. Secondary firepower increased. Um... They look exactly the same. Maybe they move faster or something, I don't know. I figured I would have gotten like a second, or a third one, or maybe four. That would be sweet. Them moving faster, I guess, adds a similar effect. It's just less visually noticeable. Also, I'm betting if I did the firepower one that I would have gotten, um, he would have shot more. Also, we've got sort of a helix, half helix thing in the background. Actually, I guess, would it just be a helix if it's, it's you know, DNA is double helix? I've never heard, yeah, I'm not sure I've ever seen or heard of just a singular helix. No, wait, there was the helix fossil in pain in uh, Pokemon. Oh, wait, my... It's my gunfire that increased, not my um, my options, my orbs. See, I was looking at those since I just got those. I feared it would increase those, but increased my uh, forward diagonal shots, if you didn't notice. So now I shoot two out of each side, so that's nice. And I definitely prefer this way more to the side shot, because side shot's very rarely going to be useful, especially in, like, well, <laughs> I was retarded. Why did I even go over there? I guess in boss fights it would allow you to attack in a different way, but generally speaking, I'm going to be down here, enemies are going to be up there. So, you know, the side shot's not as helpful. I wonder what that other evolution branch would have brought me to. Also, it's sort of odd that I don't go all the way to the bottom, so that makes me think that I'm not at the bottom of the screen, and then my mouse sort of moves off sometimes. No challenge is completed because you suck. Secondary disc weapon. Primary. What? Let's see what a secondary disc weapon is. Secondary shot adapted to shoot disc bullets. Discs. Yay. Well, that is certainly a disc weapon. I'll give them that. I don't... I'm assuming these do more damage. They just sort of increase the visual clutter, though. It's the only thing I'm noticing. I find them sort of ugly for some reason. Um, I guess I'm okay with this being... Ah, uh, we're doing this thing. Ah, I see where... I see where we're going here. But, um, what was I going to say? I'm fine with this rather than the forward one, even though the forward one... Oops. Oh, wait, do my lives carry over between levels? Well, let's try out the primary disc weapon, just to see everything that I can. Hmm. You know, when I'm doing close-up damage, the other one is probably going to be more helpful, because then I get four discs instead of two. Like, if I were to try and hit a big boss or something. But, unless I die again, I'm just going to stick with this. I don't really care enough to switch over. Yeah, yeah, open up. I'm so intimidated by your walls. Your obvious boss entry thingy. Ah, whoa. Also, your annoying pattern where I have to go under you and wait for you for freaking ever to, uh, whoa, hurt you. 
I suppose I can try and use my defensive orbs to, like, break a hole, but that's kind of dangerous. And I don't feel like trying to slip through those things. Not now. Oh, we're doing this thing! We're, we're, ow, 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 shit. I was not ready. Stop that. We're doing the dance back and forth stuff, huh? Huh? More potted plants. More cactuses! Haven't seen you in a bit, cactuses. Cacti. Oh my god, are those painful? No, they're not. Those are not. Yeah, sometimes I can't tell the background and the foreground in this until I either collide with something or I think I'm going to collide and then I don't. So that can be kind of annoying. But... Ow. I don't think this is handled too poorly. Like, I didn't really have too much reason to assume those would hurt me. Except that in, uh... Space Invaders Infinity Gene, they do have something very similar to that that does end up hurting you. So that's what was kind of jaded as to that effect. The annoying thing about Space Invaders Infinity Gene is that it's all monochrome. So, and some of the stuff, it's like 3D and stuff, but it can still be hard to tell what's going to kill you and what's not on occasion. Greaser Challenge 2 is now complete. Rank increased to 3. Oh, the challenges are just what it takes to up the rank thingies. I'm guessing these are just for high scores. I don't think they have any gameplay effect. But we're rank 3 on everything, so... Super Murder. Press the mouse button to engage. The power up lasts only a short while. It can only be used once. I'm assuming that means... Wait, does it have a re... I'm assuming maybe it has a cooldown thing. It must have a cooldown then. It says it can only be used once. That either means per level or just I can use it once and then I have to wait for it to recharge. So I'm like, no way is this one of those stupid abilities I can only use once in the entire game. It's probably a kill everything on screen button. Well, it's probably a bomb, more accurately. Which, for a bullet hell game, is probably a bomb, and it probably erases all of the bullets. That would be logical. I'm wishing I had the, um... Use the disc thingy on my secondary fire. Dun dun dun. Boss time. Let me see. What the... Oh! Neato. That's a neato face. It does not erase the bullets, though. Oh, that is the meter that tells you how long until the thingy ends. So I guess I may have used it up for... at least for this level. I'm doubting you can only use it once through the entire game. That would be kind of dumb, but the... flavor text kind of suggests that. Oh god, alien plants that have evolved to grasp their own... potted... selfness. My adaptations of the... Or my... Yeah, I guess adaptations. My interpretations of the enemies as being potted plants is sort of going to the extreme. Since not all of them look like potted plants. But some of them definitely do. And I prefer thinking of them as murderous potted plants than tend to murder my face. Professor X will be proud. You're fully evolved. No more all. That is so not fun at all. No more mutations because you suck. Dun dun dun. Also, why would. Ow! Shit. Why would Professor X be proud? Because. In X Men Mutants, you know, you mutate once, then you learn how to use your powers and whatever shit. That's what Professor X would be proud of. You need not be proud of mutating, because, you know, you do that at birth. Well, you do that before birth. You do that at the creation of the egg and sperm cells. I'm not sure. Ow. I'm not sure Professor X would be proud of me for existing. I don't think he would judge me for existing, but it's just an odd thing to be proud of existing. Like, yeah, I exist. Pretty fucking impressive if I do same so myself. Now those other guys, those guys you never heard of, they don't exist. Fun fact. Okay, is this a real boss, or is this dicked up boss that I shouldn't waste my murder power on? Oh god, it's two bosses. Oh god, it's three bosses. I was expecting there to be four bosses, honestly. But they're pretty weak, so... Honestly, this has been pretty tame for a bullet hell game. It's not like I went through unscathed by any means, but... I expect to be dying a lot more. Like, a lot, a lot more. Ah, here we go. Something... oh. 
I was kind of expecting a boss, but this is fine, too. I guess we did just go through a boss, so it would be a bit premature. Silly sine wave, bastards. You and your sinusoidal nature. Why so sinusoidal? This is certainly dangerous. Look at that. That was so close. I had to do so much dodging, so much ducking and weaving and all that crap. I was like fucking Rambo. Not Rambo. Rocky. Ducking, weaving, floating like a butterfly. Sting like Butterfree. I think that's the saying. And someone will not grasp that I'm sarcastic, by the way. So, anytime I'm like painfully obvious sarcasm, someone like mentions that and like, Oh, you didn't know X because of Y, lol. I'm like, dude, Z was like such obvious sarcasm that like your head must have been imploded from the dry wit and you forgot what sarcasm was and blood started coming out your ears. Ow. I love that I get a life up right before I take a hit. Also, I probably should have used that attack way earlier, because I knew that was the final boss for that level. No more upgrade thing er, thingies for me. Selection of the fittest. Can you see the light yet? Well, yes, I can, because as long as I'm seeing anything, I am actually seeing light. Oh, whoa, disorienting 3D background. That is kind of distracting. And kind of annoying, really. And out of place, I must say. Like, really? And it's so, it needs, get get some anti-aliasing up on that bitch. Because really, it's got to be pre-rendered. Well, maybe, it, I guess it may well not be, I suppose, but... Look at that. It's like going through, like, Unreal Tournament on, like, the lowest visual settings on, like, a machine from Windows 98. Windows 98 is now a time period, by the way. This is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. Look at me. I'm scared. Oh, stuff's actually coming at me now. Hey, stop being on the other side of the screen, bitches. I wanted to kill you. Shut up, combo voice. I forgot you existed. I'm all for, like, an auditory notification sometimes for stuff like that. Actually, for this case, I'm really not. Because, you know, your combo, like, immediately goes to 10 and stops. Or does it? I thought I saw it at 10, but then it went down to zero. Double bosses. This is sort of an odd pattern. I would figure they'd be more in sync. Ow. Don't do jerky mouse movements. I figured that I... Okay, shoot. Oh, no. Well, go. St that Why does that power-up attack or start up so slow? It's not what I would have expected from the power-up thingy. I would have expected a smart bomb, you know, kill all normal enemies on the screen, do some damage to bosses, wipe out all the bullets, but you know, a change up is always welcome too, I guess. I'm just not sure, uh, this just isn't, you know, that interesting of a change up in my opinion, it's just sort of odd, and, ow, I'm not sure it's entirely fitting. I guess it's okay to hurt bosses with, blah blah blah. Can you see the light? We've already discussed this. Also, the pattern these orbs follow is bugging me again. Just thought I'd mention that. You guys are annoying because I can't really hit... Well, I can hit, like, one of you, but that's at most... Whoa. That was dangerous. Ow! You hurt me. You hurt me on the inside. Also the outside. Also, uh-oh. Ah, oh, I didn't get to hit those guys. See what you made me do? You made me not kill people. I hate when people do that. It's like my freaking faux pas. I'm gonna go right up about this on MySpace. You are so going in some angsty poetry, bitch. This is not cool. I actually never had a MySpace account. I briefly had a Zanga account back in, like, early high school when that was all cool. There was some seriously angsty poetry from some people I would have never expected that from. Also, gonna die! Shit. Alright, next... Tune in next time for when I actually finish this game, if I do.